up artsy crew welcome back to my channel and for those of you who are new my name is autumn from autumnfunart.com it has been a minute since i did one of these videos art history for my aces aka our crew y'all know what's up i have been wanting to do this video for so long but you know life happens i had all types of other stuff i was doing i was studying i was doing commissions i was working on paintings but now i'm here and ready to share some art history with you guys and i'm pretty sure but who's on my shirt we know who we're going to be talking about today and for those of you who don't know it is jean michel basquiat and today we're going to get into some fun facts about him and let's get started. Jean-Michel Basquiat was born on December 22nd in 1960. And for those astrology lovers out there, that means he is a Capricorn. I know, he was a hard worker and he was determined to get to the top. He was born at the Brooklyn Hospital in New York by his dad, who was from Haiti, and his mom, who was from Puerto Rico. His mom was a fashion designer and she would always sketch and draw and so she inspired him to draw with her. And his dad was an accountant, but he would often bring paper home from work, which he also drew on and also inspired him to keep creating. Since his mom was already an artist, she would take him to museums and exhibitions, which got him into art at an early age. He was inspired by cartoon characters, which led him at the age of seven to create his own children's book. He wrote the book and his friend illustrated it. After being at a private school for most of his youth, he ended up joining a public school in the 1970s and joined a drama group. He was still doing his art and he created a fictional character by the name of Samo, which was also known as Same Old <laughs> He did graffiti in Lower Manhattan in subways and buildings and would do poetic and philosophical work, which drew a lot of attention from the art world. He was very, very into working his way up and being known as an artist. When Basquiat got older, he started coming into his own and started becoming an independent artist and pursuing his art. So he then started selling his art on t-shirts, postcards, and basically anything he can get his art on. He ended up running into Warhol, Andy Warhol, which we all know who that is, the pop art legend, and he saw him at a restaurant one day in New York and decided to approach him. He then let him know that he did art and that he sells postcards. Andy Warhol ended up buying a postcard from Basquiat, so they were inseparable after that. Basquiat and Warhol ended up collaborating on a project, which was a series of logos and characters for corporate companies. He then started exhibiting his work all around the country and all around the world. His art was often inspired by African culture and African art that he would often see with the heads you see and the crowns. The crowns that people would see in his art were called crown motif, which was his way of celebrating the African American culture as majestic royalty and saints. Although Basquiat's work represented a lot of African culture, he didn't want to be known as just an African artist. He wanted to be known as an artist in general. He didn't want to be identified as just someone of a certain color. He wanted to be a regular person who was just an artist. In conclusion, Basquiat was a very well-rounded artist. His artwork also depicted a lot of anatomy, which could have been due to his car accident that he got into when he was eight, but I'm not really sure. But you can find that out in part two. Stay tuned and I'll get back to you. But make sure you subscribe to this channel, like this video, comment in the section and hey if you guys want me to talk about any other artists just let me know but i'll see you guys next time peace out